Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. As usual and first of all, I want to thank all the supporters of this channel, which means all of you who keep hitting that like button, adding a comment, sharing the video. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you. So as usual, we will start with EURUSD. We are looking on the weekly time frame and the euro is uh, doing what's been expected. And as mentioned in last week video, continuation to the downside. The situation that we have at the moment is very bad for um, Europe and that's why we see this uh, weakness. We got a lot of sanctions on Russia but that is a double-edged sword yeah so Euro will get um, more hit uh, than when than without sanctions. So again we see the continuation on the daily time frame this was the last week trading so we had uh, um, yet another uh, continuation move broke below this key level and if we check the weekly time frame there is actually not much of support on the way now looking left on the weekly there is nothing to hold this market until we reach these levels here talking about the weekly if we go down to the daily and we check again uh, almost the same guys we have a little bit of a swing down here this is a minor swing i won't see that as a major level still the best level is down below here this is in my opinion the target for the bears going to the four hour we see that it is a pretty extended move we might get some kind of a correction the same as we got here uh, this uh, move was the first move uh, after the start of this whole situation we have between russia and ukraine and uh, after that we've got this uh, correction so my anticipation next week may be some kind of a correction depends on the headlines of course guys i need you to be aware of that nowadays it's very very hard to predict uh, the moves but i'm sorry to say that but it seems to getting worse, and that's why uh, my anticipation are that we might continue to the downside, but of course we should um, see some kind of a corrections first. So uh, what could be a good level? Well, we need to go all the way back here to see that uh, where we have uh, this level could be uh, the first level of interest for a correction and then continuation from here or somewhere around this area could be also something to watch for a correction so any uh, retest toward this areas that fails to move higher look for further downside that's the main aim here sterling same situation bearish also the what we have at the moment is not good for um the uk either so after this move we've got continuation we've got stuck inside a consolidation here last week but on friday there was the continuation move and as you see here this should be the next target to the downside after that that will open further more downside on these markets so for now uh, we should also keep looking for retests and selling rallies. Uh, the first level of interest should be at around uh, last week's uh, S1, daily S1 here uh, on Friday. Uh, so retest toward this area could be something to watch for the continuation. So sell rallies is the main idea here. Let me take off my daily pivots from last week. We do not need them. Um, USD JAP is still um, to be considered in a consolidation uh, zone. Nothing new happened the whole uh, last week or the week before we've been trading inside this area. And that will still be the same until we have some kind of a breakout. So this is uh, the, the range we have for now. The market uh, been bouncing around for the whole week. Uh, I still see the 114.50 down here as a good support level for now look for buy then sell from the top until we have a breakout of course if you see the market breaking below here with a strong break we might look for retest and then further downside that especially if we see even more downside on the stock market this scenario then might happen that you get the break here 
and then continuation otherwise if everything continue as it is like now without any bigger change in the fundamentals 114.50 should be um support for now which means this area down here okay uh, aussie still bullish continuing to the upside with um uh, those uh, high um, prices on gold and oil and many many other metals that is helping uh, Aussie a lot and um, that's why we see a continuation to the upside so checking the weekly time frame this was a very very good move to the upside we have a weekly close above the neckline back above the 200 moving average on the weekly and on the daily right now uh, so uh, we have a couple of days with a close above previous high which signaling further upside so what's the next target here uh, in my opinion up here uh, is what the bulls should be looking for do we um, want to wait for a correction well of course i think that is the case after such a huge leg we should at least look for a correction down toward this area 0.73 to then look for further upside if that would be the case and if this level holds so for next week the main plan is look for some kind of a correction to 0.73 then if it holds look for further upside from this area down here okay USDCAD bouncing around, um, still inside this range with a little bit of a fake out. So we have this move here, we had this move here, and then the market went back inside. Right now, the price is exactly in the mid uh, of the old range. So uh, what's happening here? Well, I would say we keep trading this range for now, waiting for a breakout, sell high, buy low, wait for a breakout. There is nothing else to do. We are back in this old range once again and bouncing around inside it, as you see. So last Friday, there was resistance here once again, and the market did push back down. It could be profit taking, whatever you want to call it, but all in all, the range is still or is back in play, at least I would say. And USD Chief also not going anywhere. We've been uh, trading the whole week inside this range here. This is the weekly range from last week. Uh, nothing has changed. Uh, if they break out of this inner range, they might continue lower to the boundary of the outer range. So we have a couple of ranges here. We have this small one inside of this bigger range here okay so not the best chart ever to trade at the moment um it is a scalping uh, paradise for sure because you've been bouncing around here for scalpers this is perfect uh, trades to just sell high buy low the bottom of the range otherwise if you're a longer term trader you need to wait for a break out of these ranges at least from this little one for a continuation down or something like that okay and gold absolutely bullish still moving strongly to the upside we've got now a weekly close above this level which is a signal that we might now start looking for this level here at around the 2000 but again they need to break out above this previous high where we've had this uh, inverted uh, hammer here checking the daily they filled the whole week once again but as far as there is no break above it this is a sell you don't buy it here before the breakout if you want to buy you need to wait for the breakout then retest then you look for continuation otherwise early next week might see some troubles here and then a rotation back down keep uh, keep that in mind no breakout then rotation back down breakout absolutely potential continuation to the upside and all absolutely going crazy uh, as far as the situation is the same uh, oil will keep being uh, bullish uh, uh, crazy weekly candle here and if we look left you see we are at this level here and after that there is nothing we go back to 2008 price level before this drop here before the uh, the crisis and if we put on the monthly charts, we see uh, where we are right now. And um, these are crazy levels. And again, on the monthly, a break above this, there is nothing on the way to hold the price until they reach the top here. Okay, so be aware of that. Potentially, this might give some trouble next week. Potentially, some kind of a rotation. Each time they fail here, we might look for a rotation back down. This was a very extended move and it needs some corrections. And corrections will happen no matter 
how bad the situation is we always get some kind of a correction either manipulation or honest correction so we will see what will happen but this is resistance for now keep that in mind and that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye